Imagine you're a cat, owned by a Nazi. Not ideal, could be worse. In 1941, and suddenly your owner had to serve for the Kriegsmarine for the Nazi Marine, and you have to follow him because you're not old enough to have your own home with your little wife and your little kids. You're just too young to live by yourself, so you have to follow your owner, and you have to fight for the Nazi during the Second World War. So you embark on a ship, the Bismarck, and you have to fight the Allies on the sea. You're on this ship and you cannot escape. You have to live alongside your colleagues and have to make the best out of it because there's no escape. So we're traveling on, the, on this big boat and suddenly, two weeks, only two weeks after you started this new life, you encounter yourself in the middle of a sea battle between the Allies and the Nazis. And your ship, the Bismarck, ends up sinking. What do you, what do you do? What what do you? That's not the life you expected. That's not that's not the life you thought you would have. You're on this ship with people you don't know, you don't necessarily like, and suddenly your ship is sinking, and you have to survive. That's that's a very tough situation. And you're a cat. You do not necessarily like uh, to be in the water, and s suddenly you're clinging to a floating plank on the sea alone and everyone around you is dying because it is war and that's how war happens <laughs> but out of nowhere a British ship is passing near you and a British soldier unnamed we don't care about it's not his story it's your story we won't name him sees you and decides to save you he takes you on his boat the HMS Kozak now your life changes completely, you're not owned by a Nazi anymore, and you're on another ship fighting for another army, the Allies. You have to deal with it. No one asks you how you feel, you just have to deal with it. So that's what you do, because you're a very strong cat, and it's not a thinking ship that's gonna bring you down. You have more things to live and more things to do. So you're on this little ship. This little British ship, the HMS Kozak, enjoying life, you know, doing your little daily task, helping your colleagues, the little soldiers around you. And they decide, they decide to change your name because they don't know your actual name and you're unable to tell them. So from now on, you'll be known as Oscar. Why Oscar? Oscar was given to you because in the International Code of Signals, the letter O stands for Men Overboard. So that's why they named you Oscar. You're really appreciating the effort. Plus, they're nice. You know, they gave you a name. That's a sweet. You know, and your little life with them is actually okay. You know, they they, they take care of you. They treat you as a real colleague, and it's fun. You know, it's life is fun. However, a few months after that, five months after sinking of the first ship you were in, the Bismarck. You encounter yourself in another sea battle. What the hell? Wasn't the first one enough? You wonder. But as you were helping to escort a convoy from Gibraltar to Great Britain, a German submarine fired a torpedo to your ship. And this ship, the HMS Kozak, is also thinking and you don't know what to do. Your friends are dying. The situation is very nerve-wracking. And... You're alone in the sea, but you're a very resourceful cat. That's not a thinking ship that's gonna bring you down. You're stronger than that. There were a lot of explosions. More than 150 soldiers died during this, uh, the thinking of the Cossack. But your friends, your colleagues, they took you with them and they bring you to the shore and you survived yet another thinking ship. What a reputation you have, Mr. Oscar. You're every, you're everyone's favorite topic. You're in every conversation. You're the mascot of the Royal Navy. You're a survivor. So, life is fun again. Enjoying your life on yet another ship that you end up on. The HMS Ark Royal. You have new missions. You encounter new friends. Unfortunately, 
because surviving two thinking ships wasn't enough. The Nazis come at you again. And three weeks after the thinking of the second ship you were on, the HMS Kozak, when you were returning to Malta on November 1941. Another German submarine fire torpedo to your ship and it is sinking again. What do you do? I mean, sure, you survived two previous thinking ships, but three is a little too much. But you're not alone now. You have friends, you have colleagues that care about you. And because the, um, the Ark Royal, the ship you're on, is sinking very slowly, everyone, except one soldier we won't mention because it's not his story, survived and brought you to another ship and saved your life. You survived three sinking ships. Who else can say that? No one. You're, you're a star. And they gave you another nickname because you're a survivor now. You, you need a, a bride a name uh, that would fully carry your story around the world and, and people will know you about that name now. The Unsinkable. Sam. Yeah, you're Sam now. Oscar... Oscar is from the past. Oscar was just a cat who survived one thinking ship. But Sam, the unsinkable Sam, survived three thinking ships. After surviving the thinking of the HMS Ark Royal in Malta, you're brought back to Gibraltar. And there, the governor of Gibraltar decides that you had a very dangerous life. And because they truly cared about you, they decided that it was time for you to retire in a more peaceful environment. So now you will be able to witness the end of the war and the rest of history and a home for sailors in Belfast, surrounded by other failures who you really care about because they've been through the same shit as you and they understand you better than anyone could ever understand you. After coming to Belfast, you will be able to live a very peaceful life and until your day finally comes surrounded by people you love and people that love you. And for about 14 years, you will be able to live a very peaceful life, happy, until you eventually end up going to heaven in 1955. That's a very great life you had. Rest in peace. Yeah, so here we are. It's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't hesitate to pull a little thumbs up and uh, subscribe because I'm really into telling stories now. I don't know if that's the good a good career choice, but uh, that's what I will be doing more now. Have a very delightful, prideful, joyful day, and goodbye.